Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about generics in Dart. With the help of generics, you can create a class or function that can work with different types of data. It helps you to reuse your code. Now let me share my screen and let's learn generics with the help of examples. Okay, here you can see some important information about generics. Generics is a way to create a class or function that can work with different types of data. If you look at the internal implementation of list class, if you don't have any knowledge of list class, then you can go to our previous section or watch our previous video on list. Okay. If you look at the internal implementation of list class, it is a generic class because you can create list of integer, you can create list of string, you can also create list of boolean, you can create list of double. It's completely your choice. You can create list of anything that is your choice. Okay. Now let's look at the internal implementation of list. Okay. Here you can see list of integer norms that is holding value one, two, three, list of double values. Similarly, list of string names and here is map okay let's look at the internal implementation of this list just press ctrl and click here okay this will show you the internal implementation okay this is abstract class and this the class name is list okay abstract class our class name and after the class name you can see this uh, less than symbol and after that here is one character e this e means element and after this, uh, uh, here, here is uh, greater than symbol. Okay, this bracket inside the bracket here is E character. Okay, this means element. Okay, you can pass any type. Okay, instead of E, you can pass integer, double string, or any other uh, type. It's completely your choice. That is the beauty of generics. Okay, here is the syntax for generic. First, you need to write a class keyword and then you need to write a, write a class name. Then after that, inside this bracket, you need to write this T. Okay, this T means type, that E means element. Okay, you can also write a K for keys or key and B for value. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, now let's do one example without using generics or with using generics okay let's do the example for the for that i will create a new file i'll say gen dot dot okay and let me create a class i'll say integer data okay in data class name is in data and i will just write data field here and let me create a constructor and I will pass this dot data okay okay now let me create another class for this is for integer for double I'll create a new class double data okay and I'll say double data and I'll say double data this dot data okay now let me create a uh, main method okay void main and let me create object of in data and double data in data id is equal to in data and i will pass 25 okay and i'll say double data dd is equal to double data and i will pass 28.5 9 okay and let me print id dot data and let me also print dd dot data okay now this is fine okay now let's run the program dot gen dot dot okay here you can see 25 and 28.9 got printed okay now what 
uh, if you want to store a string for this you need to create a new class for a string a string data and you need to write uh, a string in constructor name and this string in this field name also okay here you can see the repetition of code okay this is not a good idea you can just use generic and solve this issue okay just write class and i'll write a class name is data and after the class name here you can see the syntax you can just write type okay just write t here t means type and inside the curly bracket here you can see double data here you can see integer data we need to write t data this can be anything okay and we need to create a constructor our class name is data so i will pass this dot data okay if i remove these two class then this will work for us okay i'll say just data and here also same okay if I run this program, I'll get the same result. And I can also add integer here. Okay. Integer. And here double. Double. If I write integer mistakenly here, then it will not work, not work. Okay. I need to write double here. Okay. Now this is fine. I can also create a string. Okay. A string sorry data of a string i'll say ds data of a string and i'll pass hello and if i print ds dot data then here you can see hello got printed in this way you can use generic class this is the very easy example of generic class i hope you understood about generic class if you have any question then comment please do comment down below or uh, you can also uh, learn from this website dart dash tutorial.com just uh, read this uh, multiple times definitely you will definitely understand uh, this one okay okay now uh, here you can see generic type variable uh, uh, here are most uh, commonly used uh, character t means type e means element k means key and b means value okay and if you look at the internal implementation of map class okay uh, here you can see map if i press control and click here okay here you can see here are key k and b this k means key and b means value okay this is the internal implementation of map class so that you uh, you can store uh, uh, anything in key and value for example here we are storing name in key and uh, string in key and uh, string in value string in key integer in value string in uh, key and double in value okay this is the uh, internal implementation of map class how map class works okay now let's talk about generic method in generic method you can pass uh, value of any type that is the beauty of generic method here is uh, here is the implementation of how we can uh, create a how we can define a generic method i'll just copy this one and let me create a new file that is gen dot dart or gen method dot dart okay here you can see generic method i will say gen metsod method okay let me create a main method okay i'll just print gen method hello this will work okay gen method dot dot here you can see hello got printed if i pass 25 then it will print 25 with the help of this generic method you can pass any type of value that is the beauty of generic method 
you can also pass multiple values like uh, I can pass uh, t2 or t value 2 value 2 okay and I need to pass here also 25 and uh, here you can see okay I will uh, just returning value okay if I run this one 25 got printed and if I write 20 and 25 this will print 20 okay this is the beauty of generic class you can pass uh, multiple values also with the different type if I write here hello and if I uh, return value 2 then it will print hello here okay this is the beauty of generic class generic method okay this is the beauty of generic method now let's move forward here you can see one example generic method with multiple parameter we already learn about that one and one important thing in generic that is restricti restricting the type of data you can also restrict the type of data okay uh, here you can see our class that is da data we can pass any type integer double string what if you want to pass only two type that is int and double for this you need to restrict the type for that just write extend extend and you need to write type here num basically means for uh, integer and double num represent integer double so if i write num here then this will not work okay you can also restrict the type by using extend keyword after this t okay inside this bracket this is the another beauty of generic thank you so much for watching this video i hope you understood about generics if you want to learn more about generics then you can also go to our website and watch there thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video thank you